In psychology, asking questions is just the beginning. To find real answers about how people think and behave, psychologists use the scientific method and different research methods to gather evidence. The scientific method is a step-by-step -step process. First, they ask a question, then form a hypothesis, which is an educated guess. After that, they collect data through research, analyze it, and draw conclusions. Let's look at the main research method psychologists use to make this happen. Experiments are the best way to find cause and effect. Psychologists change one thing, called the independent variable, to see what effect it has on something else, called the dependent variable. For example, a psychologist might test whether sleep affects memory by having one group sleep eight hours and another group only sleep four hours. Then they would compare test scores that they have them take. Case studies are going to be taking an in-depth look at one person or a small group of people. It's great for learning about rare situations or unusual behavior, but the downside is that it can't always be applied to everyone. Correlational studies look at relationships between two things. It's like time on social media and stress levels. Just remember, correlation does not mean causation. Two things can be related without one causing the other. Surveys are used to ask a lot of people questions about their thoughts, feelings, or behaviors. They're fast and can reach large groups, but results can be biased depending on how the questions are asked or who responds. Naturalistic observations are just what they sound like, people watching people in their natural environments. The key is not interfering, so the behavior is as real as possible. It's great for seeing how people really act, but it doesn't explain why they act the way they are acting. In a longitudinal study, researchers may follow the same group of people over a long period of time, sometimes years or decades. It shows how people change over time, but it takes patience and are usually pretty expensive. Like if you're tracking people from the age of 10 with IQ scores and having them test once every 10 years up until they're in their 80s, 90s, or even their hundreds. In a cross-sectional study, psychologists study different age groups at one time to compare them. It's quicker, but not as detailed. Whether it's through experiments, surveys, or observations, psychologists rely on research and the scientific method to understand the human mind. Each method has its strengths and its limitations, but together they help paint a clearer picture of the human behavior.